Hey guys, <laughs> greetings and salutations YouTube. What's up, what's happening, Captain? As y'all can see in live HD, it's Charles with the most, Paul Can too. And you guys have been asking for room tours, house tours, decoration videos, and I'm finally here to do one. So behind me, you have the wall where I normally uh, shoot videos is my video background, but in front of me, you have the most boring, empty, those? lackluster wall in the house actually that's a lie a lot of the rooms in my house are undecorated but today this is the room that i spend the most time in it's where i run my website from you guys can see all the clothes thirdheadvintage.com you already know thanks to everyone who does shop on there i really appreciate it but yeah i'm gonna decorate this wall today this wall basically this whole rest of the upstairs region aside from that corner because i don't have a ladder tall enough to get up there yet but on the floor we have a little bit of everything you could ever imagine a bunch of posters and artwork that i've accumulated at the thrift that you guys have sent me some things that i have painted myself and then some frames postcards and other knickknacks that are gonna hit this area so that's the mission today is to turn this wall from boring as hell to look at something like this which i call like classy and uh kitsch at the same time so it's like a cheap way to decorate something and make it look cool and if you frame stuff it somewhat looks good at the same time all right without further ado let's get into the first step which is to build one of these shelves that's gonna match that shelf over over there i'm thinking about putting it right here it might look stupid i don't know there's only one way to find out and that's to do it so let's go so first things first this shelf was 20 dollars from ikea and also, I'm sorry if the audio sucks in this video, but I had a new microphone Yay! attached to my camera and I didn't know how to use it until I was done with this video. So sucks to suck buttercup, but thus is life. Damn. All right, so if it's gonna go anywhere, it definitely looks better right there. So I think this actually might be a solution because it's like these shelves go into that shelf. It kind of covers up this little doodad right there. It'll probably get dusty, but I think I'm gonna just put some plants right along here um that way they just get hit by that cool cool breeze with that warm warm air all right let's get some unique plants in there oh look at those plants baby m and m planters fuck with your boy so i think that's what i'm gonna put right there i'm not 100 percent sure i actually want to get things on the wall and i'm not gonna load up this shelf because i might need to put a ladder on here to hang things way up top so now that we have at least one big thing blocked out, let's block out some other must-have items in this room. So speaking of must-haves, obviously one must-have essential item for any space is a Tasmanian Devil Lamp. Now, when you guys actually sent this bad boy to me, it does function. So I want to put this dude up right, right here, okay? Somewhere like here. I just feel like it goes there, so... It's going there. Oh yeah. Look at that, nice and level. Yeah. Oh, we gotta get it litty up in here. Y'all ready for this? Hold on. Oh! Yo! It's lit! All right, so you guys can see that Taz is 3D, so I decided to add some shelves next to him for all my accoutrements. So I put some tape to roughly get the idea of where I wanted them to go. Then of course I had to make sure whatever holes I drilled were level. So I drilled some pilot holes. And then I whipped out the level again, just to make sure the shelf supports were vertically straight. You heard me. Then I nailed in some little support beams for the screws and I screwed them daddies in there so they could attach to the drywall. Hell yeah. And what you do once, you do twice. Sometimes you do three times. I threw on the top of the shelves and voila. All right guys, so there it is, man. We have, I guess, one corner kind of done, which in a way is like the shelving corner. You got these shelves going up towards the counter that are gonna come up on here onto this dude and then down so i kind of like making a stair step-esque design when i hang things up so i theoretically could even drop taz down lower and have everything really drop off but you guys will see what i do when i build up these uh stairs of design if you will but now i think it is the time to begin to decorate this back wall 
with just an absolute abundance of art. All right, guys. So let me give you a key lesson when you're doing classy kitsch. Things always look better when they are framed, regardless of what it is. Like Lamborghini card that one of y'all sent me looks way better, way, way better when it's framed. So as long as everything is framed, it'll still look a little bit better than just, you know, posters on the wall, even though posters on the wall look fine. So right now I got this piece of glass and I'm putting it over this box and I'm just gonna go ahead and outline this design that way i can fit it in a frame and i got this box for free at an estate sale so yeah if you guys haven't seen my estate sale video go ahead and check it out but i'm just drawing a straight line on it it's sad to chop this box up careful around the edges kids don't clip a finger and then i just slide it in the frame and then it's ready to hang it's that simple perfect all right, so one area that I definitely want to hook up with a big painting is definitely right above the TV. And I want something that can command the space and then also sit right above the shadow. Now, eventually I'll probably put a very uh, tall plant going in this corner and then it's that clean and green color scheme. So it just makes too much sense. Look at that cat. Look at that. All right, then I threw on that little uh, roller blade little picture right there. It looked nice. nice. All right, guys, so y'all didn't see this, but I went to Walmart because I broke a picture frame. It's getting rough and rugged out here. Anyways, I also grabbed this uh, life-size Dos Equis cutout that uh, my friend, the Hidden Bin Neto gave me. And my guys, this dude is so freaking cool. It is insane. And this is like at least five and a half feet tall. This has the potential to go really bad. Father, please help me. All right, at least if the ladder falls, it'll hit this wall and I can jump off and break my ass. Ah! I can feel my balls. Wow. That was uh, surprisingly easy. Hold on, man. Okay, yeah, that leaves enough room to put some artwork underneath that and or a shelf. I think a shelf would actually be kind of sick. There could be like plants growing on it. Yeah, that could add a nice little piece of, piece of uh, dynamic. Could add a nice little dynamic or a piece of dynamic, whatever that means. You already know plant two gotta add a thing or two. A little yucca, little big daddy baby yucca right here. Really give it that Mezco vibe, baby. That Mezco vibe. All right, slowly and surely, we are getting there. <laughs> the most interesting man in the world is on the wall. And uh, I'm gonna start working my way down this way and vertically right now. So I keep rearranging all the stuff just so that way the layout will be perfectionate. But right now I think I'm gonna add a Mickey Mouse poster right here. And if you guys thought hanging stuff was expensive, boy, were you wrong. I just use thumbtacks. They're super simple to put in the wall. They leave small holes if you regret your decision, but I do not. Look at Mickey, look at Minnie. Then I threw up a nice little Haitian piece of art. Thing was thrifted at Goodwill, multicolored and it contrasted with Mr. Dos Equis. Then it adds some extra storage and aesthetic. I added three suitcases stacked atop of each other, and I really like the way these baddies came out. They look nice, added some nice pop of color, and overall I was quite satisfied. Jesus Christ, I don't know why I'm doing this, man. Why do I have this in my hand right now? All right, so that was unnecessarily scary for no apparent reason. The next thing I'm adding is a complete troll ad. <laughs> I framed the Travis Scott McDonald's bag just as a complete and total troll. That's just how prolific McDonald's and Travis Scott are in my life. Trippy. Here goes nothing, muffin. 
McTruffle butter. Right next to it, I'm gonna add this framed lady. Old school little postcard. I think it's cool. Oh, that was my ankle. Damn, that hurt it. Hey, you guys already know, I had to throw a big mauve in. Bro, that was too easy. I'm getting too good at this. Yeah. All right, we are looking lovely, aside from that gap. So the next things I'm gonna add into that little space right there are gonna be some postcards that me madre sent me. So you got the two cans, you know, reminiscent of my last name. You say it enough times, eventually you'll say, can two, can two, can two, can. You saw what I did there? Then you got the gorillas chilling while King Kong is over here sacrificing himself. And then of course, my favorite musical artist, Bob Marley is gonna go up as well, right up in that little gap. All right guys, it's getting late, but the next few things we're going to add are these custom paintings I did when I was in college, just abstract. We had to read this weird book and then make paintings that depicted the cities that were in the book. So I think I'm gonna put three of them stacked up right here and uh, go from there. All right, back to the future poster? <laughs> I think so. Oh yeah, Dad. Look at that perfect placement. Perfect. Yes. So then the next thing I did was I threw up a Mickey Mouse picture, this nice little positive voodoo doll, and of course a Mickey Mouse phone that my gal got me. Yeah. Okay, guys. It's the next day, man. Ah, I didn't get that much sleep. I was honestly very excited to continue the process of um, getting my little interior decor on. I definitely gonna need to put some blinds up here because look at all that sunlight hitting the Dos Equis dude's dick. That's gonna be a problem. But today I'm gonna handle this wall real quick. Like I might put stuff up on here too. And then I'm gonna hit the shelf as well. So uh, yeah, let's get it. Ooh, big nip slip, daddy. All right, so one painting that I added, my friend Izzy had made me. Actually, I think it's a drawing, and it fit perfectly over the first shelf. And then I went ahead and I added a Tasmanian Devil teamwork picture as well. Teamwork makes the dream work. Safety first, then teamwork. Remember that. All right, guys, so I've been working on the shelves, and I actually have everything set up. Now, I was obsessively compulsi compulsiving. It's not a word, but I was being very obsessive compulsive with setting this dude up, just moving stuff back and forth to and fro until I got it the way I like it. But I think it paid off. Look at Jeff Gordon waving at the people. You have this angry cracked egg with his mouth wide open. And then I threw in a snake plant as well, a baby Kermy. You have Raphael, Jamie from Mythbusters, and the Smoking Joe's little uh, match matchbook pack. Okay, my children, what up? So my camera died, but I managed to get up a couple more things. You got some artsy fartsy pieces framed, little postcards once again. And then this little corner is popping, man. I threw Tupac up by that hat back, snap back restoration section. You got a bunch of other little pieces of artwork right there on the wall, up here, right there. But now's the time to handle the shelf, all right? We need to handle this shelf, so there's some things on it, but that's not what I permanently want to reside on my little Ikea $20 shelf. So right now, I'm just gonna throw some pieces up and see how it turns out. So one thing I gotta start off with up on the shelf is this giant golden pothos. Like, look at it, just look at the dreads, man. The dreads are just hanging down. You guys already know, man. One time for the hype beast and for my city, I had to create a Travis Scott shelf Reese's dedicated. You got the Reese's Puffs cereal boxes, multiple sizes, and even a Reese's basketball. I thought it looked pretty cool down below. I also added some books. Obviously, for any bookshelf, you gotta have the books. Look at these, they're about sneakers. So I slid them right in and I liked it. That looks pretty good. And then what's even cooler is I have these Toy Soldier bookends that Mama Cantu blessed me with years ago years ago and i've just been waiting for an opportunity to use them man look at this guy wow. holy hell that's so cool oh that looks this looks like an absolute delight 
That looks delightful. All right, this next shelf is way too easy. You got Homer, Marge, Bart, little Maggie chilling right there. And then of course you gotta have Lisa as well. Bruh, a whole family. A whole happy American family. Oh, that looks good. All right, this next shelf, I'm gonna throw a little dead stock Wolverine. Sorry, my dog got at this. This was sent to my PO box. I was so pissed when Ranger started attacking it, but thus is the nature of my dog. Look at that. All right, man. Put you right there. Put you right there in that corner now, boy. And all right, my guys, we are officially done at this point with the wall behind me. Sorry, dude, it's like sunny and cloudy at the same time. So if the lighting is weird, I humbly apologize. But yeah, guys, I mean, just check out the shelf. Completely done. And then you have the wall just encrusted with artwork, which is exactly how I wanted things. This little nook is looking amazing. And overall, I just love the way this whole thing turned out. And this should go to show that you can decorate a house on a budget extremely cheaply. It just takes a while to accumulate things, obviously. And it did take me a ton of time to mentally lay out where everything would go. I kept moving things back and forth and all of that. So there definitely is a lot of balance that I wanted to put in this, like leaving some pictures that are more plain to give your eye a break. You got Marvin actually looking at Sylvester. That's a cool little dynamic. You got colorful things right here to contrast and counterbalance the colorful painting right there. Huge dude just to fill up the whole space with that Dos Equis promo. And yeah, overall, you just, I don't know how I do it, bro. I just be looking at things and I'm like, oh, this is a flow. This is the way things need to go. So hopefully you guys might be inspired to do something like this at your house. And if you just came to watch me do my thing, I definitely do appreciate it. I had to take three days off from the website, which is thrifthavenvintage.com. That's the best way you guys can support me is by shopping and grabbing some gear. Um, I, yeah, I had to take three days off of that to do this, three days off of editing, and overall just set aside a nice chunk of time. So yes, be patient with the home tour. It's going to come, but it is going to take multiple days for me to finish doing everything, even in here. Like this other wall still needs some work up there. I need to move these boxes and probably build a table right there. So you guys stay tuned. Live the dream, eat that ice cream again. Hopefully you guys like the way this came out. I love it. And until next time, I'm locked, I'm loaded, and I'm out. Peace. Killing these songs, leaving a bloody life, I roost them. And I'm in it to win it, so I'm somebody that you should get used to.